Austin Ganston area. It's Chasing Grace with Chase Robinson, only on 90.7 FM. Let's get your Saturday night kicked off right now with Chase Robinson. It is 9 o'clock, time for the second hour of Chasing Grace, and we've got Matt Blair from Church of the Cross in to do our devotion tonight. Welcome in, Matt, and go ahead with it. With our youth group tonight, Flame Youth Ministry. Uh, we just got back yesterday from camp. We went to Shaco Springs, and we did student life camp. Chase is actually one of our students, and he was there with us. What did you think? Did you think it went pretty well? Yeah, I think it went really well. It was a lot of fun. We had a great time. We actually ta- saw two students come to faith in Christ, so we were thanking God for that. Um, And while we were there, we talked about the kingdom, okay? That was basically what we were talking about was the kingdom. And there was something, I don't know if you remember, Chase, when they said this, but uh, they said something that I thought was kind of shocking, and it might shock people to hear this, but they said that all non-Christians are the subjects of Satan, that all non-Christians, all non-believers are in the kingdom of darkness. And, I mean, did that kind of shock you when you heard that? What did you think? It, it was kind of, I've never really heard a message on the kingdom before, so yeah, it was uh, kind of shocking that to hear that and to uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, we, we think about it, we don't, we think about someone that's not a believer, we don't think of them as necessarily an enemy of God, but the Bible says that they are. I'm actually going to read out of the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 31 through 38, it says this, So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you will become free? So basically they're like, How can we be free if we're not enslaved? And Jesus answered them. He said this, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me because my word finds no place in you. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. So it's like this, and and students don't really think about it like this at all. I know when you think about that you're not a Christian, you think, well, my life's fine. I'm okay, right? You know, everything's fine. Uh, But really, you're in the kingdom of darkness. And just because somebody doesn't realize that they're in a kingdom doesn't mean that they're actually not there. Chase, do you remember when we were we were there this week and um, we took a golf cart? Okay, we rent golf carts. Uh, you can rent one for the week just to kind of help you uh, transport yourself around campus, or in my case, to be lazy because um, I I didn't want to walk all over the place. I'm a large person. I get tired really quick. I sweat a lot. Um, but anyway, we took the golf cart. Chase, why did we take the golf cart? It was me, you, and Cody Whitfield. What what were we doing? We were going to help people find fish. That's right. That we're fishing. That's right. We are going to go help people find fish. It was a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. And so we start looking for fish, and we've got our noses, like, pointed right at the water. So we're driving right on the bank of this lake all around. And we get kind of to the backside of the lake, and I'm like, what do you think, guys? <laughs> Should we keep going or not? Because it got this real narrow path. And what did we decide to do? We decided to go all the way around the lake. All right. Go so off-roading in the yeah, golf cart. That's exactly right. We went off-roading in the golf cart. And, I, th- I mean, it looked like a golf cart path. So I said, sure, we can do this. So we started going around the lake. I should have known better when we had to get out uh, two times and pick the golf cart up and, <laughs> and get over some bumps. But, uh, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't really think about it. Um, and we're just still looking for fish. Did we ever see a fish? No. No. <laughs> we, we, never, we never saw a single fish. Uh, but we get around to our friends who were looking for fish. And it wasn't until we got there, we got out of the golf cart, um, and then what happened? Tell me what happened, Chase. A lady came walking around the lake, and she made you move. She made us leave looking. <laughs> help. We're helping these people looking for fish. She made us move. <laughs> she made us move. She was like, okay, there's two rules, guys. Uh, first of all, you can't drive the golf cart around the lake. And I was like, well, that would have been nice to know. And she said, there is a sign, second of all. And I was like, didn't see the sign. And then third of all, she was like, you're not even supposed to drive on the grass. And I was like, what? I've been driving on the grass all week. This was like Thursday. I've been there since Monday. I'm like, tell a guy, you know, help a brother out. And so we somehow miraculously were able to do a three-point turn in this tiny little, it was, it was like ridiculous. And we turned around, we got back out, and as we were driving back out from around the lake, what did we see? We saw the sign, we saw bigger it. than the golf cart. Yes. <laughs> we saw the sign that clearly said, no golf carts beyond this point. So it, this is what I'm getting at. Basically, it was this. I had no idea. D- did you have any idea? No. 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 Ch- uh, Cody, you didn't have any idea. Cody, you, did you, right? 
He's, he said no. <laughs> we had no idea that we were not supposed to go around the lake um, or that we were supposed to be on the grass, but we were. We didn't know, but we were. And we wouldn't have known had it not been for that person. Um, so there's people that are in the kingdom of darkness and they don't even realize it. Uh, if you've never been born again, you're under Satan's rule and you need to be set free. To those who have been set free, guess what? There's something that we need to know too. And Chase, I'm going to get you to read this verse. This is out of 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. Uh, it says this, go for it. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were, once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So as Christians, not only are we now part of the kingdom of God, we're also a kingdom of priests. Okay, so you, as a Christian, if you're listening to the station, Chase, as a Christian, all, all the students that are here with us, the adults, if you're a Christian, we are called to be priests. Not just the preachers or the pastors of your church, not just elders of your church. You, you're the priest in your home, your school, your workplace, in your neighborhood. You are a priest. Now, do you know what priests do? I mean, is, had you ever really heard somebody explain what a priest does before we were at camp? No, not really. Right, I mean, we, we don't really think about that very often, but here's the deal. A priest, are, they're kind of like a go-between. They're ministers. Priests minister God to the people. They bring the truth of God to the people. So Christians, be a priest. Go to your family. Go to your friends. Go to your neighbors, your teammates, your classmates. Tell them God's truth. Show them his sign. Give them their warning, just like we got from Shaco. All right. Thank you very much, Matt. That was great. Uh, he's going to pray for us now. God, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for the opportunity for me to be able to share some of your truth. God, I pray that if there's anyone here that's listening uh, on the radio tonight, God, if they don't know you, if they're not born again, I pray that you would help them see the sign, that they would know the truth, that they are in the kingdom of darkness, but that you have come to set them free through your son, Jesus Christ. God, would you please draw them to yourself, send someone to them to be a priest to them, to tell them the truth. God, use Chase and this radio station to broadcast the truth through music, Lord, to reach students in this county. Lord, we love you and we thank you for this time. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, Matt. That was Matt Blair from Church of the, <clears throat> from Church of the Cross doing our devotion for us tonight. Coming up, we're going to be talking to him. We also have the whole youth group in here. We're going to be talking to them as well. Right now, the Lord is good on Grace Radio 90.7 FM. Uh, we've been there at that location for about seven years. Um, it's a smaller church. We meet on Sunday mornings, 1030 a.m. is when our worship service is. We have live music, uh, live band, drums, bass, electric guitar, acoustic, keys, piano, vocals. Uh, relevant message that I really believe can, can change anyone's life if they'll hear what God's Word says and do it. And uh, We do small groups uh, on Sunday nights, and uh, Wednesdays we have our youth ministry. It's called Flame, and uh, Chase is part of that, and we love it. We love the students, and uh, it's great. It's a great, great local family of believers if you're looking for a place to go be a part of a church. Uh, well, what's going on over at Church of the Cross or with Flame Youth Ministries uh, coming up soon? Um, well, actually, tomorrow morning we're going to have our recap service from youth camp. We just got back yesterday from youth camp, and um, we went to Shaco Springs. We were there with Student Life. Uh, again, you can check them out, studentlife.com or shaco.org. Uh, which, by the way, Church of the Cross, our website is churchofthecross.tv, like television. Uh, but we're going to have a recap service tomorrow morning at 1030. So we'll have all of our students will be doing things like um, being the ushers. They'll be running sound in the back. Uh, we'll have the band up front. Um, I'm going to kind of preach a message that talks about what we talked about this week at camp. Uh, one of our students uh, professed faith in Christ this week, was born again. We actually had two, uh, Courtney Cox. Yes, that's her actual name. And Tanner Coon and Tanner's here with us tonight. We're actually going to baptize Tanner tomorrow, and uh, there'll be some funny videos. It's, it's going to be a great time. We're going to have a really good time tomorrow morning. So if you got nowhere to be, tomorrow morning is a great time to visit at Church of the Cross. Awesome. Well, uh, you talked about camp. We were at camp this week. Talk a little bit about your expect expectations going into camp and kind of how it was and uh, what you thought about at the end of it. Really, going into camp, you never know exactly what God's going to do. Uh, you just kind of pray a lot. You spend a lot of time raising the money to go. 
Uh, you try to pump up your students and get them to want to go. You try to get them to bring their friends, especially their friends that don't have a church or don't know Jesus. Uh, and then you get everybody there and you pray that they don't kill each other. Uh, you pray that they don't get lost in the woods. Um, you know, you pray that that God would actually do something real in their hearts. That was what I was expecting. I was expecting that God would would speak to each of us, the adults and the students, and that he would change us, change us forever and make us more like him. And if there were any students that came with us that weren't Christians, I, I was praying and expecting that they would be born again. And they were. Uh, God answered our prayers. It was it was amazing. We had a great week. So, again, the recap service tomorrow at Church to Cross 1030. Uh, we'll be talking more to Matt and more to the youth group coming up in just a minute. Lord is a warrior. That is Matt Papa. He's that one who uh, led the worship at um, our uh, camp this year. And I've got with me Tanner Kuhn, one of our youth students. Uh, he actually got saved this week. Tanner, tell us a little bit about what you thought about camp this week. Well, it was really, it was my first time at camp. And it was really good. Everyone there was uh, really nice. And uh, within a week, I learned more about God than I would have at my old church in three years. Uh, so it was overall uh, really good. Good. Now, uh, what did you what were you expecting when you went to this camp? I really don't know what I was expecting. I was just hoping it would uh, be good. I was hoping it uh, wouldn't be bad. Well, I was just hoping that the Lord would save me and uh, lead me to where he wanted me to go. So, And this week that happened. Well, thank you very much, Tanner, for talking to us. All right. We're going to be talking to more of the students. Again, that was Tanner Kuhn. Uh, he got saved this week at camp, so that's really exciting. And um, we're going to be, ta oh, be talking to more of the students coming up in just a little bit. David Crowder Band, Open Skies on Chasing Grace, Grace Radio 90.7 FM. I'm joined now by Cody Saxon. We shared a room at camp this week. Now, Cody, tell us a little bit about your expectations for camp. Last year was my first time actually going to a camp. So um, I came in last year with ex expectations of being great. And then this year, I really I came in expecting it to be even better, and that it was. And I came in expecting, like Matt said earlier, uh, that God was going to do something in people's lives. And I saw two of, two of my friends get saved. And it was just amazing. And the whole experience, like, God is great. And he did do a lot of things while I was at camp to me. And I saw a lot of my friends just being changed and God doing something in their heart. So I, f I feel like my expectations were met and uh, surpassed by God, that he just really he blew my mind with all he did. So kind of sum up the week. What did you think of the week at Shaco? Well, um, the week at Shaco, it was full of, uh, full of many things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was a, there was a lot of worship, and that was probably the greatest part. There was a lot of fun, and uh, there were there were a few pranks in there, <laughs> and but we all, overall it was it was a great time, and I really feel like all of us really grew closer to God. I really do. Tell us a little bit about what happened to our room. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the, par the parts you can the parts you can share. Don't don't talk about all of it. Well, um. Our room was, uh, we have two good friends, <laughs> and um, they, they, uh, they really left us, they, they had to leave a day early, and uh, Chase and I, we were rooming with them, and they left us a few surprises. Um, yeah, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to sleep when your, bed's is, when your bed is full of sunscreen, <laughs> and um, Chase knows all about that, and when there's ketchup packet in your shoes, <laughs> you're, you're, kind of, you're kind of weary about putting your shoes on, but yes, it was, they left. Quite a surprise for us, but still, overall, it was it was very fun, and it was a great week. Well, thank you very much, Cody, for talking to us. And, again, we're going to be talking to some more people coming up in just a minute. You're listening to Chef M. Joining us right now, another one of the youth students, Gabby Logan, and uh, she's going to talk about what were your expectations for camp this week. My expectations were uh, to grow closer with the other youth students and to really just enjoy our time and grow closer to God. Uh, so what did you think about the week? Kind of sum up the week in your opinion of, of what you learned and everything. Um, our our leader, his name was Adam. He was very weird. He talked very fast. <laughs> it was very hard to 
understand him sometimes, but he was very good. He taught us a lot about the kingdom, and I learned a lot of things that I didn't know before. We had a lot of fun walking everywhere. And it was just overall a really good time. So you'd say you enjoyed the week? Yes. What was your favorite part of the week? Um, probably Foursquare with the church, especially when I got cherry bombed. <laughs> it's when someone forcefully shoves a ball right into the smack dab in the middle of your square, and then it flies 50 feet in the air. Who did that? Chase Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that is Gabby Logan, one of the students from the Flame Youth Ministries who is live in studio with us tonight. We're going to be talking more in just a minute. You're listening to Chasing Grace on Grace Radio 90.7 FM right now. It's Grace Like Rain by Todd Agnew. Grace Like Rain on Grace Radio 90.7 FM. I've got the coach, Riley Shaw, sitting with me right now. You? Welcome in, Riley. Hey. And uh, <laughs> tell, tell us about your expectations about camp this week. Well, I went to the camp for a... Take your time. Take your time. I learned a lot at this camp about the kingdom of God and how it reigns over all. And just, I really learned a lot from the speaker. He's a good guy. We had a little complications with him, but <laughs> but we, me and him straightened it out. But what were your expectations? <laughs> I came in wanting to know. I was eager to learn more about God and the kingdom, and just I really wanted to know what he was going to talk about when I heard the word kingdom. I didn't know what all he was going to say. So kind of sum, sum up your week for us. Tell us your favorite part of camp and tell us tell us what you thought about, or tell us about the week. Tell us what you thought about the week. What I thought about the week. Um, it was uh, very interesting. I mean, many people got saved, and that was a praise, praise God. And uh, just to see people's lives change right in front of your eyes, it's just great. I love it. What was your, what was your favorite part of the week? My favorite part of the week. <laughs> um, uh, whatever, whatever your favorite part was, man. My favorite part of the week. <laughs> <laughs> the barbecue. The barbecue. Uh, the brisket. You my favorite brisket? part was when uh, the people in our own youth group got saved, and just seeing that really brought tears to my eyes. It was just great. Well, all right. <laughs> That's Riley Shaw, <laughs> one of the, uh, or as I call him, Coach. Yeah. Coach Riley Shaw. Thank you for joining us tonight, Riley. Thanks, man. We're going to have more coming up in just a minute. Right now, building 429, and listen to the sound on Chasing Grace on Grace Radio 90.7 FM. (laughs) Listen to the sound, building 429, Chasing Grace on Grace Radio 90.7 FM. Right now, I have Kalen Bone here with me. Now, uh, I played a couple Matt Papa songs. He was the the worship leader at camp this week. What did you think about the music? I thought it was really cool because the music was always the thing that really I understood because I really liked music and hearing him sing all those worship songs just really spoke to me. What was your favorite part of the music? The favorite, my favorite part? Mm-hmm. Well. Or your favorite song. What favorite was your favorite song? song? Yeah. My favorite song is The Lord's a Warrior and that just really spoke to me and showed how God's ruler and he is a warrior and he will fight for us. Awesome. Well, uh, we gotta, we're going to play a Matt Papa song for you today, Open Hands. I played uh, The Lord is a Warrior, and it is finished earlier in the show, but right now, another one that, uh, that I really enjoyed, Open Hands. Matt Papa there in Open Hands. He was the worship leader at uh, Shaco Springs Student Life Camp this week. Chasing Grace on Grace Radio 90.7 FM, and Matt Blair has something to say to us. Yes, we, uh, we've got one of our students who was actually just on the radio, Kalen Bone. He's going to be going out of town tomorrow Mm -hmm. tomorrow he's leaving to go out of town he'll be with his dad in florida for two whole months oh we're really gonna miss him so we just wanted to say a good hearty we love you caitlin on the count of three one two three we love you caitlin bye bye i love you you guys too we're gonna miss you buddy we're gonna miss you here it is here we go right now with One Day Late on Grace Radio 90.7 FM. That is One Day Late on Chasing Grace on Grace Radio 90.7 FM. Again, Matt Blair and the Flame Youth Ministries is live in studio with us. Woo-hoo. And uh, we got a man sitting across from the table from me. What's your name and what is your role here? Uh, my name's Jonathan Franks. Or Johnny uh, or Frankie. Yeah, yeah, I answered all those, I guess. Uh, 
but yeah, I, I volunteer with the student ministry at Church of the Cross. Uh, I help with the music when we do music on Wednesday nights and uh, also d- do some discipling and uh, anything else Matt says. Uh, <laughs> he's he's very obedient. Yeah, and bored. So. <laughs> No, he's, he's incredibly helpful. He's one, one of our volunteers, and we couldn't do what we do as a youth ministry without our adult volunteers. Uh, we have several, so I'm just shout out to Flame Volunteers. What's up? Lo- love you guys. What, what's your favorite part of uh, volunteering with the youth ministry? Man, uh, my favorite part is just getting to invest in students' lives. Uh, even though uh, I don't get to do it as much as I'd like to, you know, just a little bit I get to hang out with you guys is uh it's just it's life changing for me, you know, even though I guess my purpose is to, you know, instill my wisdom and vast knowledge to you guys. <laughs> uh trust me, I don't know anything. <laughs> but uh no, really you guys teach me more than anything else. Uh I I just love hanging out with y'all and uh sharing the love of God with you and uh he's blessed me for it. Well, thank you very much for uh, talking to us. Yeah, dude. All right, we'll be right back with more from the Flame Youth Ministries here on Chasing Grace on Grace Radio 90.7 FM. Right here, Jeremy Camp on Grace Radio 90.7 FM. And Matt Blair, he's got something to say to us again. Yeah, um, we're here on the radio with Chasing Grace, with Chase and Grace. Here's another and posting to our Grace uh, Radio Seriously, though, i got a couple of the students that are here. They've been in our youth ministry uh, for a, a little while. They've been in our student ministry for how long? Hope, Grace, how long have you guys been in our youth ministry? One year. I've been in it for like three and a half years. Okay. So what grade are you guys going into next year? I'm going into 12th. I'm going into 7th. All right. And they're sisters. Um, we've loved <laughs> having you guys in our youth <laughs> ministry. And they're actually moving soon. Aww. Aww. They're moving to Virginia. They're moving to Virginia lame. this summer. Lame. Somebody said lame. Um, no, it's not lame. It's good for them, but we're going to miss them. Um, so I just wanted to tell you guys that we're going to miss you, but I also wanted to ask you, you know, have you enjoyed being a part of our youth ministry? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> what would you say has been uh, some of your favorite parts or what are you going to miss? The people. Yeah. I'm going to miss all the crazy fun we have. <laughs> <laughs> we do have fun, don't we? Yeah. It's all, it's all good though. Um, I think Chase is telling me to keep going. Is that what that means? No? Stop. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, everybody for joining us uh, tonight we had the flame youth ministries live in studio with us tonight matt blair the youth pastor brought our devotion we've got the whole group in here and we want to thank you guys for joining us tonight thank you matt for coming in here absolutely thanks for having us sorry sorry i had to cut you no, off no right no there. no it's awesome we also want to remind you about Praise Days coming up June 15th. Visit safpanthers.org uh, for that firelight true story after the day the southside athletics foundation present presents that again safpanthers.org uh thank you for joining me tonight join me again next week as i will be back i don't know who's going to be my uh guest but we'll have one then (laughs) thank you again to flame youth ministries for coming in studio tonight and matt blair for bringing our devotion (laughs) this is wgrw aniston gaston grace radio 90.7 fm it's time for celebration with praise with roy patterson